Hello and welcome everyone here. We are back for some more modern action. Today we are playing another Nihilist. So I owed Mason a second deck list. So this is going to be the second Patreon submitted deck list for him because it was uh, my choice. So we're going with another Esper list similar to what he submitted, but this one is a Stoneforge Mystic list. Um, I did make a cut that I did want. I did want to play Lion Sash, but I decided not to uh, instead to just play the full set of what I have here. We got four birds, four Ragavan, three Nimble, or three Esper Sentinel, three March of Otherworldly Lights, four Stoneforges, three Tarmogoyfs, four Helixes, three Season Pyromancers, one Fire and Ice, three Wandering Emperors, one Batter Skull, one Cauldra, and three Solitudes. The big thing here I want to try is Wandering Emperor. She seems pretty good with the rest of the stuff we're doing, but we'll see. Sideboard, two Wrath of Gods, three Wear Terrors, three Blood Moons, two Timely Reinforcements, two Veil of Summers, two Clothes, God of Destiny. And I was going to play Fury, but I actually want to play Chandra. So, with that being said, this is our list. Um... Excited to give it a try. I haven't played Stoneforge in a while. Kind of missing it. So we're gonna play some matches here. Naya is weirdly enough one of my most one of the most fun color combinations I've ever had playing. Um, the reason for helixes over bolts or another one mana spell is we already just have so many one cost stuff that I figured bolts or the life gain probably is worth the extra mana. Alright, um, don't forget if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and hit that bell notification so you get notifications as soon as I post a new video. Also, any engagement helps, so commenting and discussing things about the deck list, things about the video, what things you liked, didn't like, all that helps out a ton. And then also, uh, if you want to see your deck on the channel, don't forget to check out my Patreon in the description below. Um, for just as much, for as little as a dollar a month, you can get one of your decks played on the channel. Um, and then of course, Mana Traders, if you want to play some MTGO of your own, I have a Mana Traders referral link in the description below. Go ahead and use that, it helps me out a little bit, it helps you guys get set up starting renting cards so you can play MTGO yourself and play some of these sweet decks we play on the channel. Alright, we're going to hop in around one here guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Alright, this sounds good. Uh, if they end up killing our Sentinel, we'll likely get something from it. Uh oh. One of those pesky Luris decks without a Luris. Holy heat. All right, I will draw happily draw a card there. Our blind gorge is not quite what we drew up, but I'll still take it. What you get? Stoneforge. Oh boy, that'd be awkward if they were Stoneforge deck of their own. I am getting myself. We're getting a batter skull because we're already at batter skull mana. Yep, I mean, they got all the removal spell. Nothing we can do. They get this time from us. Thank goodness. <laughs> it's a legendary card they can't utilize. Draw. Alright, I mean... I'm not, like, super sold on all of this. But I'm definitely going to pitch these two. Uh, the only reason I'm really doing that is because I needed a extra blocker for Ragavan. 
At this point, Ragavan's getting to the point where if it keeps hitting us anymore, it's just going to be taking over the game here. We got to do something about it. Wow, fuck. Second drone lock. Mark Tide Regent. Yep. Oof. That's a helix. Uh. Yeah, I think we're just too little too late here. We got a three. We got to draw a second helix here to not just die on the spot pretty much. I mean, it doesn't matter what they take at this point. Roof main deck card that gets rid of it. Oh, we do have solitudes. Okay, well, we're good there. Never mind. We're not just dead dead. We're pretty dead. But not just dead dead. Oh, also if it attacks, we have the Wandering Emperor that can come in and kill it. We actually have a lot of outs here. Never mind. We're not in that bad of shape. I mean, we're not in great shape. Don't get me wrong. But we're not in that bad of shape. I mean, take the seven, jump block. Do we draw out? We do. Holy crap. All right, give me one second, guys. All right, that is actually... Uh, quite nice. I also forgot about the life gain on the Wandering Emperor, so that's actually super dope. We're not going to attack because I don't want to get hit by a Ragavan here off of Dash. Thoughtseize. Taking the Lightning Helix, I presume. Actually, no, the Stoneforge is better to take here. And only Holy Heat clearing up. Our lady there. Ooh. Oh, that's so good. Oh, you love to see it. Oh, you just love to see it. Aye, 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 aye. How big are you going to be? You're a 6-6. Six, six. Planes. Bird.
Let's just pass, I guess. Well, that made our job a lot easier today. Also, in the event that they are a uh, Death Shadow deck, man, that takes them off of. Death Shadow as a follow up. I don't know what could happen here, but I'm not taking any chances. Oh, my force is gone. Duh. Alright, well, I'm just putting that in play tapped, I guess. <clears throat> Man, you saved me. You saved my bacon, girl. Holy crap, that was good. Alright, alright, that was good. That felt good. That felt good. Warner Amber felt like the MVP there. Alright, so against them, they're Grixis. I think Blood Moon could be good. I think. That's definitely good. Um, Clothis could have some potential here. Um, I'm going to take Cauldra out. I think I do want to trim some number of Birds of Paradise. I don't know if they're Shadow or not. Trim some number of ragavans. Actually, just trim all the birds. Or no, you know what? Let's trim all the birds. Let's trim. This is a 61 card special. This is fine. I'd be a little happier with the bird, I guess, but. Bokeh. Sam feels pretty good. Please don't turn him on discard. I mean, that sucks. They're going to take Blood Moon here, which is really, really bad for us. Um... I think it's pretty much going to cost us here. I don't know how we're going to get back from that. Consider. <clears throat> That's a workaround for it, I guess, right? Got a spell pair or something to get me. Dragon Rage Channeler. Okay.
Yep, I gotta take three. Take another three here. <sighs> yep. Interesting. Sure, dash rag van. Honoring Emperor. that resolve goodbye to you yes this gets to hit no I'm not happy about it I would much rather have had that card in my own hand. Yep, they're gonna finish off my Wandering Emperor. No surprise there. Dash, my boy. All right, I mean. I'm gonna let this beer. Just one card I'm glad they don't have. Pretty much what it comes down to. All right, we got there. Nice. So we beat the Grixis Murktide Ragavan deck, which is a matchup I was not comfortable thinking we beat. But in fact, we did. Alrighty. Ooh, we're gonna draw some fire too. All right, on to the next round. All right, on the play for round two. I mean, I'm not going to not keep this. Like, Cauldre's a dead card in her hand, but... Like... Assuming everything goes as planned, Ragaman's good enough. Oh, maybe we don't have an answer. Yes, okay. Yes. Mm. Do we Helix? Do we attack and let them choose to block? Choose not to. I'm going to choose to kill it. I don't know what they could be moving up to three mana with, but I don't want them to yet. Okay, that's what they are. All right.
Yep. I don't want the witch's oven for myself. I'm not gonna. I don't think I'll have a need for it. However, if they're jund, whatever company stuff, then they'll have a need for the oven. And so getting rid of it's huge. Man, devil. Yep. It's obviously not great, but it is what it is. Obviously, we need to draw another land here off the top so we can solitude that away. <sighs> All right. I'm not sacrificing that stuff yet. I'd much rather pitch a solitude to a pitch emperor to solitude to exile this instead. I hate this so much. Yep, pop me in the face. I mean, it probably just dies to a sack trigger, but. It's fine. Yep, down goes bird. <laughs> Fucking kill me. Alright. Well, clearly life doesn't matter anymore. Yep. Yeah, you're worthless to me. I mean, I guess we play it, put a blocker on the field, and attack for four. Because they can block and sack this to double ping this, I guess. Trade? That doesn't seem like a very advantageous trade on their behalf. Then again, this attack doesn't seem like a very good trade on our behalf either. Let me sack that, go back up to 10, kill S% and will put us to 12. The attack put us to 6. I don't know what we're doing here against them. This is pretty bad for us. I'm not going to lie. Oh, God. And they're a Saga deck. Makes sense, I guess. They definitely shouldn't have showed us the Saga, though. Saga. 
Sacrifice a swamp, draw a card. Yeah, we're done. It's fine. We weren't getting out of that anyway. Yeah, well, actually, that would have gotten us to solitude, but still, it's way too late. Okay, so. Um, fails. Moons. Wait, why am I bringing Veil? Oh, because they have black. Uh, they might have discard and stuff. Okay. So, Sentinels and Ragavans are all cards I want out. Um, both this back in, I guess, then. Yeah, they're mostly a creature based deck, so Sentinel's not good. And Ragavan, again, they're mostly a creature based deck, so they're going to block up the ground. Playing first. <coughs> <coughs> Alright, keeping it. We have no reason for double green, right? Nope, no reason for double green, just double reds. Sun fake. Damn. Not much we can do here. This will cut them off of black at least for now. Of course, my luck—they're just gonna slam a swamp, and I'm gonna cry. All right, let's go season pyro. Spread in two lands for land and watering emperor. Okay. But March of the Otherworldly Light is actually quite good. We may need to consider getting rid of March of Otherworld or Trial of Cone or of Crumbs. That's fine. I mean, that's not. Oh, there's a fucking swamp. There goes our game plan. Yep. There's that. Uh, 
something. Give me a second to make a food. Oh, I'm pinging me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Yep, same target. Sack to Wishes Oven. No. Oh. I mean, they go up to five cards in hand this turn, which is problematic. That's a fucking problem. Oof. Okay. Yep, they're going to start their thing. Okay, problematic, but not the end of the world. Problematic, still not the end of the world. Do this jig one more time. Damn, that was a fucking problem, but. All right, well, I am a big fan of Tarmogoyf here. Why would you chump Spyro there? That seems weird. Just gonna anger the board away. Devil, play the goose. Hmm. A weird choice of timing there. I think this card is such a problem. Ugh. I don't want to do it, but I got to do it, I think. No attacks. Yep. Down goes. Oh no, they're peeing me. Okay. I'll say they've been they've been peeing me the whole time. They'd probably be in pretty good shape right now. They would probably already be pretty close to dead.
The messed up part is we've drawn incredibly well, all things considered. We just don't have an answer to that stupid mayhem devil. Which is going to cost us because they have at least, what, six damage right now just between. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Yep. That's now nine damage. That's uh, ten damage. Okay, so I need one more. Yeah, we're close enough to dead. I'm just going to concede. On in the final round. Alright, this hand's awkward. I'll admit it. But red, white... I think we can get there. I think we can get there. Especially if this Ragavan survives. I think we can get there. Well, Swamp ain't looking good for our hero. Yep. This hand just went bad because I think Ragavan or Berg were in trouble. Yep, they take raggies. I mean, I guess turn three season pyro is still not terrible. You can turn these dead cards into something useful. Fuck them, psych. Psych, joke's on me. Rip season pyro. Uh, this is so frustrating. No attacks, obviously. Let's go. Let's we'll just grab basics. Actually, that was dumb. Yeah, this is gonna be a sacred foundry. Let me guess, counter spell. Ding, 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 ding. I come in. No surprise from our opponent there. Sword, yes. Yep, opting from our opponent.
sure. Okay. Yep, looks good. Get two cards out of this. It won't be too hard for them to get two removal spells here. I guess maybe we should have held this, right? Yeah, we should have held it in case they, they have a Supreme Verdict off the top. Okay. Start here. You down. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Jump block. Again, board wipes real bad for us. Field's great for us, though. Yep, they can block there. Take four, five, six, seven. Yep. Oh, memory deluge. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're we're good. Yep, still should be game. I forgot I had a flashback.
Okay. Interesting choice. Turn. Get block there, go to one. <laughs> I'm gonna let that get exiled. I'm, I'm not gonna fuck with it. We could have played Wandering Emperor there, but we'll just do it in the turn. My counter spell. They had one. Okay. What do we got? Let's go. Spyro. And Goyf. All right, show me second counter spell. All right, my second board wipe. Nope. Land instead. All right, game two. What a luck sack, our opponent says. That's... That is the name of the game. All right, let's go Chandra. Let's go Clothis. Veils. To be fair, our opponent also had really good draws. Like, it's not... I don't know what they're salty about. God. I really don't like this hand. Guess I'll keep it. Yep, opt. Hmm. Opt again. Esper Sentinel, huh? Actually, I do want to just play Sentinel. Don't force dies for sure. No matter what, like there's no way it survives. At least Esper Sentinel might uh, draw its card if it gets killed.
Let's go Stoneforge. I do want the sword again. Um, play the planes out. Pass. Mm -hmm. All right, they're pushing the stone forge, forcing them to pay for Sentinel. Works for me. Bail, please. Darn, okay. Go to combat. Love this. The opponent's got five cards in hand. They, don't, they have to have a counterspell, right? Like, there's no way they don't have counterspell. Okay. Snap push, I presume. Yep, looks like snap push. Which is fine. I mean, it does suck. It's forced them to alter the way they play for two turns now. Or for three turns? Three turns, I think. I think they've had to pay three times. So it's, it's definitely altered the way they've had to play multiple turns. Teferi is a problem, but that one I don't think we can handle possibly, although I do fear that it's about to turn into a trade Chandra for Teferi game, and for about a million reasons, that's not something I want to do. All right, so let's go ahead and exile a land because we're going to need the mana here. Make red. Uh, exile you. I'm going to keep Chandra Wake and Inferno around, but I presume this is getting countered. Does not. Does get pushed, which I will admit is a tad bit upsetting, but Okay. So here's the problem, because I don't want to just trade Chandra for... Uh... But, like, is that the best play? But yeah, is that like this? Is that the best play though? That's the question. Now let's plus it. 
if they really want to draw if they really want to tick down to try to get rid of it we can get to it pretty quickly again Sunbay Canyon. Yep. Actually, sorry. Yep, naming Chandra Awaken Inferno. That is so frustrating. Uh, you weren't on top four because you're what I shuffled to. Take you. This is, uh, so you guys can't see it. Now you can. This is like exactly right here why so many people hate a chat option. And I, I understand and I agree with people. I agree that this, this is why chat is so like toxic and bad in so many of these online games like this. Cause like we played a great game back and forth. Like, you want to sit there and bitch about my luck when you had all the luck in the world to draw probably the one unmerred ego you play in the entire deck. Like, you took my, my ace card away from you and just, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. But anyway, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, overall thoughts on the deck are Wandering Emperor is great. Chandra Awake Inferno is great. Clothis is great. Um, Stoneforge Mystic is good. The package is fine. Sword of Fire and Ice is still probably the best sword, in my opinion. Uh, birds and swords go well together. Ragavan is good. Esper Sentinel is pretty good most of the time. Um, yeah. Overall thoughts are just a bunch of Naya good cards. And, yeah. I mean, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um... Mason, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is my personal take on what I think Mar uh, looks best for Naya. But I could be wrong. I was also going to do a Naya Yorion version, but I decided to go with this instead. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, though. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.